We've talked about the tremendous start he was off to this season. Entering tonight, he was one of just four nets since the beginning of the 2001-02 season to average at least 19 points, four rebounds, three and a half assists, and a steal per game through the first 13 games of a season. The others, Vince Carter, Jason Kidd, and our own Richard Jefferson. Impressive company. The tenures of Lavert and Joe Harris in Brooklyn have overlapped. Both are in their third seasons with the club, and like Lavert was prior to his injury, Harris is putting together an impressive season. The Nets did not open their locker room tonight, but just a few moments ago, Michael Grady spoke with Harris as he was leaving. And Joe, it's a heartbreaking night. What was your reaction to the injury, Harris? Um, yeah, that was... Um, really difficult to see you know obviously we were a close-knit we're a family um, and um, yeah just seeing that in, in person like that you know it breaks your heart it really does and we were all really torn up about it um, you know Karis has been you know the heart of our team the amount of work that he's put in up to this point um, you know, and his attitude never wavered from the moment that he, he's gotten in here. He's been, you know, just as good of a person as he is as a ball player, even better person, matter of fact. And uh, that's why it just, it just really hurts. It hurts to see that. Obviously, you know, everyone wants to see that happen to anybody. But, you know, considering the circumstances and happening to Karis the way that it did, um, it was tough. It was, it was really hard for all of us, you know, coming to the locker room. And, um, you know, you don't really... You know, we're not overly concerned with the outcome of this game. We're, you know, our thoughts and everything is with Karis right now. I'm just hoping that, um, you know, he's doing okay, his family's doing okay, and that he makes a good recovery. You know everything that Karis has gone through, both physically to get to this point and in his life. I mean, does that just make something like this worse, knowing everything that he's come through to get here? Yeah, I mean, he's battled injuries, you know, since he uh, has gotten into the NBA. I know, you know, I mean, I've been with him since his, his first year, and, you know, seeing him having to sit out, you know, most of the offseason, his rookie year, and then even having to wait to come to, to play, and, you know, just seeing him and how diligent he is about taking care of his body, um, you know, the preparation and the maturation that, that I've seen out of him just in terms of professionalism and coming in every day, making sure he's doing the right things. Um, you know, he's, he's done everything he could possibly do to put himself in a position to succeed, to do well, to be healthy, and then you just have a, a freak accident. And so that's what, you know, makes it even tougher, you know, for all of us just because, you know, we've been with him. You know, a lot of us, uh, you know, Spencer, Rondé, myself, a lot of the coaches have been with him since day one. But even all the guys that are new to the organization have seen you know, everything that he, he's done since he's been here. And, uh, you know, just like I said, you know, we're just thinking about him and hoping, you know, he's doing okay and he makes a, you know, a recovery from this. I know how tough this is, but in the moment there, it looked like guys were just crushed, turning away, couldn't look. Can you just describe, you know, what that that moment was, you know, and, and were, you, were guys able to talk to Karis at all? No, I don't think anybody talked to him. Um, yeah, I mean, there was really just no words. I mean, we didn't talk even when we came in at halftime. It's just, uh, you yeah, know, there's nothing really to be said. Everybody, you could just feel it, the emotions of everybody. You know, guys were crying coming in a lot. I mean, it was really that horrific just to see and just, I, like I said, the circumstances of everything and just the type of person that Karis is and what he's been for our team. It just, um, you know, you're heartbroken and you're just overwhelmed with emotion, to be honest. What an emotional night. After Michael spoke with Harris, members of the media were eventually let into Annette's locker room that was overcome. One of the players who talked was a veteran brought in to guide the youngsters like Lavert, Jared Dudley. Jared, it was a really tough night. What was your reaction to Karis going it was down? Devastating. Devastating to the team. You know, such a good kid. Um, it was just tough out there. I thought that, you know, I was last game of road trip not down J.A going against uh, Towns. I thought Towns was a handful and did what he was supposed to do down there. And we just couldn't get over that hump. We had, a, you know, one chance. I think in the third quarter, we were up two. They made a little run. Got to about 10. Um,
trying to get back out there in the third. I think, we're, you know, as athletes, we're all human just like everybody else. I just think that everyone was down, you know, obviously disappointed for Karras and, and the injury, all, all the hard work. And, I mean, that guy was on his way, you know, he still is on his way. But, you know, going out with that injury, you know, it's just it's just tough. It's a tough blow for, you, for, for your team. But, um, I mean, that's a good thing that we have good medical staff and good, you know, doctors here. And so you can come back from these injuries easy. So I expect him to, you know, bounce back and be back here next year and ready to go. D'Angelo Russell made nine threes tonight. He scored 31 points, but it's all about Karis LeVert. Let's get his postgame thoughts. D'Lo, how, how devastating was that to see Karis go down? It's not something you want to see, especially um, in sports. But, um, I mean, it's, it's something you do see, and, you, and it's unfortunate. Um, our prayers are with Karis. Um, I mean, we're praying for a speedy recovery. How, how tough was that, you know, knowing how tight-knit this group is and how Karis is one of the more beloved guys, period? For sure. Um, that's our brother. You know, like I said, you don't want to see that for anybody. Um, but for, for us to see our brother go down, that we're, that we're in practice with every day, we're on these, these flights with every day, it's, 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 it's devastating, you know, to the stomach. But um, like I said, it's something we can, you know, keep our prayers for him and, um, you know, step up and, and try to build off of it. I, I know this is tough, but it obviously affected you emotionally. You covered your head, you walked to the bench to get away from it. Can you just describe the impact that had on you? Like I said, man, I, I've dealt with injuries. Um, no one wants to see injuries if you dealt with it or if you haven't. But um, I just saw right away what it was and, and tried to erase it from my memory as soon as I could. But, you know, it don't work like that. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's something that hurts, you know. It's hard to speak about. You never want anybody to go down, but, I mean, you know Paris, you know how much he's already dealt with, I mean, to get to this point, both on and off the court. I mean, yeah. does that just make it worse? I mean, make it even more? Everybody, has, everybody has their issues. Um, <clears throat> but um, just, you know, injuries like that in general are something that, you know, has, a, has an impact on your career, has an impact on your on your day-to-day. It's not a small injury or whatnot, so just want to be as positive as we can for him. And um, like I said, wish him a speedy recovery. Thoughts and prayers with Karis LeVert.